Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 54. First round we've got Azathot with High Elves versus Tachyon Speed with Kislev. Absolutely not want, not what small High Elves want to run into. It's Unicorn Kislev, unbelievable Kislev team. And in the booth with me is Purple Chest. Hello! Hello! Not sure I can stay for all of it, Jim, but I did want to have a little look at this bit. I do love some Elf on Elf action. Uh, and Kislev are more or less Elves, aren't they? Hmm. I Lots like of that. leaping about and that sort of thing. Kind of like elf counters as well, aren't they? With all of the dive and tackle and stuff. The... Absolutely. And their ability to go anywhere, even past screens. Mm. And of course, easily the winner of best name in the chalice. <laughs> uh, oh, as a thought says, yeah. Yeah, Carpe Dime. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty great. <laughs> it just it's combined so many memes into a single two word space that I think it might have the density to actually fall through the internet. <laughs> well, it's pretty, pretty amazing. Pretty amazing team name, but uh, he's gone for the two stars and the wizard, which is obviously pretty good. It's his downloads, right? You'd rather knock yeah. it down 600, 700 TV. But once you are... No, not an ideal world, but that does give you some abilities, some ways of uh, attacking other teams, as we've seen in other... You know, Chalice games many times before. Sometimes a, a good wizard and a star can open up holes that your team simply cannot. Yeah, I think you need power on the pitch, don't you, in this game? Yeah. And, uh, and that's how you get it with the, with the stars. Like, if you, the, with the wizard, obviously, is really good for one turn, but yeah, I, I felt like you needed both stars, right? And some kind of like, you know, bribes or. No, bribes I think you're absolutely, absolutely right. I, I mean, I'm not anticipating a lot of piling ons here because there isn't a lot of piling on, so. It's it's hard to see how you're going to get lots of things on the ground in good positions to foul them out. Mm -hmm. What a monster! What a monster kids have team. The only thing it's missing is like adch ups, isn't it? But two strength ups, like skilled up blitzers, really is an incredible team. It's pretty close to the unicorn of uh, of the kids Yeah, re it really is. Like. Um, Maybe the best Kislev team I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. I mean, Blitzers are fantastic pieces at about this level once they've got about three or four skills. Yeah. And they've got three or four good takes to take every time. Uh, they don't start bloating for a long time, but they do start expensive, so you get good value out of them at about this TV. Yeah, yeah three skills, isn't it, is all you need, Bodge Guard, and then, and yep. then they look amazing with the Bodge Guard. But the strength tackle wrestle pieces is quite nice too, particularly with jump up. <laughs> yeah. You know, you can see some synergy there with diving tackle and jump up. Yep, and block mighty uh, tackle is fine. And the blodge step as well with diving tackle and jump up is incredibly annoying. Mm. So suddenly they start to be real, you know, team wreckers, even for elves of this size. Yep, and there you go, diving tackle doing the thing. Yeah, absolutely. None of it's super likely to work, of course, but at this TV you're often talking about who avoids the one. And if you can make the L suddenly try and avoid the one, two, and even maybe the three, that's what brings an elf coach out in a cold sweat. <laughs> yeah. They'll plan a 17 2 plus turn and think nothing of it. <laughs> but throw two three pluses and a four plus in there, and suddenly they are asking for a trip to the toilet before they roll any dice at all. I mean, I've literally never rolled a three plus in my entire life, so yeah, I, well, I can relate. <laughs> why would you, Jim? Why <laughs> would you? Most dice man in Blood Bowl. <laughs> I guess this guy's getting fouled here. Eh? It looks very like it. Oh, no, he's not. The Dublay one flipped me. Wow. Flipped me. And now, of course, you've left a plus strength guard piece on your ball. Mmm. And I don't want that on my balls, Jim. I don't know about you. <laughs> no, not really. Doesn't get him down, though. Gets away with it. Disgusterous. I can still get blood step on. It matters versus leap, but you know, I can get blodge step on. <laughs> yeah, but there's so little diving tackle on the high elves, isn't there? And high elves, beautiful as they are, and they're able to stand there in their fight with their AV8, which is exactly the same as the kids' lead line pieces, of course. Um, just don't come with that same leapy, divey ability that just mucks up every plan. Yeah, 
No, it's a, I mean, it's a super low TV, high elf team. It's, yeah. There's really not a whole lot of anything to it. <laughs> well, they're, they're, they're another team that... They're another team that could be happily stacking skills on at 2200 and not feel its blow yet. Yeah. And Moranian's the only, the only tackle, for example, which is uh, yeah. pretty rough. It does make him a great hire, though, doesn't it? Mm. The Prince Moron isn't quite as bad as his name would imply. Yes. <laughs> The hell of a team, but yeah, I guess that, the Blitz is they just all need one more skill, don't they? And then once they got that, they yeah, got one more skill after that as well. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You can just keep putting them in there. Mm. Unbelievable players. Even the line people can easily get to three and not feel bloated, you know, blodge step or rod step on any of them, and then throw tackle in too. So, you know, oh, bolt removal. Mm. Does that feel a bit premature to you, Jim? Mm, no, I think it's pretty good, actually. You've got more on here, ready to go and do something. And then you've got this guy ready to get in and score. I think that's pretty good. Okay, yeah, okay. I, I, I really like... I, I'm much more in favour of like early wizards than I ever was before. Yes, I think if you can turn the entire tide of a game, I don't mind using it on turn one, but... Also, particularly against anything with agility, it's not the same mental problem that it is against, say, a dwarf team. Oh, look at that. That's joyful, isn't it? Yeah. Incredible. Oh, nice. Daedal wouldn't wow. go for the GFI oh. now. <laughs> yeah, I... Dice fear. Oh, and he rolls on it! <laughs> Diddle was uh, right. <laughs> he'd be right. <laughs> oh, that was pretty unlucky to be like. Obviously, a bit of luck with the wizard working, and then the Moranian removal, and the yeah. perfect scatter. But that was pretty unlucky. Two ones out of yeah. three. Yeah. You you can't not do that. There's too much that can come for you. Yeah. But it's yes, it's very 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 unlucky. I'm the best wizard, Jim. I am superior. Hello, Steve. Should have forgot the score. <laughs> Banter. <laughs> I wonder if Eldril should have done something last turn. I guess Diamond Tackle, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. And even with dodge, it's a one in four fail with diving tackle. And even some of those three quarters of the time you get away, they're then stuck on their ass looking like an idiot. <laughs> it, it's still, that still feels a huge risk to an elf coach. A one in four fail, Jim. Gosh. <laughs> Ooh, this is, uh, this is not good from tacky on speed here, is it? This is uh, pretty easy to get a hit from, from what's he called? Moranian again. Well, childlike simplicity is the phrase I would use, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> I actually just preferred punching this guy right and hope you power him. I know it's a one in one, well, thirty percent to power, but if you power him, then you get this, you get Eldril into the into the mix, don't you? Which is amazing. Yeah, I I think there's a time to free him up, and particularly as the action's down the other end, I think that's fine to have either move him or power him. Ooh, okay, so go this way for three D. Oh, but he didn't. You oh, okay? So, well, it's still 2D with tackle, and in, 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 but if he I don't hate here, it. It's 3D, right? If he hits from here, yeah, it's 3D. yeah. But um, then you're not tagging the strength four guy, which you now have. But mm -hmm. I, I, I do prefer the 3D. But there we are. Mm -hmm. And there's again not many elves left to do much about it. But there wasn't many elves anyway, so I guess that's fine. Yep. But it's another argument for bringing Eldril down is that he could have done some screening at the very least. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure that GFI was... Really yeah. Good. Yeah, I'm a bit daedal about that. <laughs> well, what does it add? Yeah. Unless you're doing another one. Mm. And two is a lot to ask without a reroll, as opposed to an elf on its feet. <laughs> Sidesteps there. Oh, wow. 
It's funny because that, that GFI they went to is exactly where Eldo would have got to if he'd freed Eldo. But again, he only frees him on a 1 in 3 anyway. Yeah. But I'd have tried. And then I'd have tried well, the 1 in the, what, like the 3 out of 4 dodge at the end as well. Like I'd have, I'd have I thought it was the right sidestep, but it's left it in a joyfully fun position. Hmm. Very nice. Now who drops the boot? <laughs> There's no one left. Yeah. Eldor's freed by him wanting to get on there. Yeah, but gets on two though, which is pretty nice. Yeah, gets on two, and then the other one, the wrestler, can do drop the boot. Or just power an elf. Why not? It's much easier if you just power things. Yeah, I mean, Moranian stun is the best thing, isn't it? Really? Moranian's the only one you care about, really. Yes. With strength four. <laughs> I I why why were we? Why I, I'm, why did we do, do that again? Reroll to tag someone. Right? It's just a okay, yeah, to tag the free elf just right up in front of us, I suppose. Mm, like, yeah, I'm not sure we put. I'm not sure we put quite enough focus on defending this ball carrier, but you know, it's going to work because nothing. Oh my God, blue ones. Yeah, Absolutely there we go. So it turns out it was fine. Ninja Mine Cage worked again. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's brutal. Poor Ordunt had a pretty good chance there. Now it's yeah, I agree, T Man. Um, I think the Kislev have had a beautiful team this half and beautiful dice, and I think the High Elves have actually had slightly the better ideas. But Blood Bowl doesn't always, you know. Come out that the better ideas win. Yeah, that was a brutal smash. Now again, we're looking for a total gear change here. We've got to get everything up and everything as far back as possible. We're not actually, you know, that much quicker than the kids left, so we really need to move, move, move. Mm. And ideally not attack the back of the ah oh, no. Can we get yeah, okay, so we can attack a corner of this formation and just prioritize movement. Wow. It is raining one die pals, I have noticed that, and lots of pals on blodgers. I mean, that was a one die pal on a blodge. I mean, I know he had tackle, but still, it's a one in three. Yep. <sighs> it's rough, this, isn't it? This is really rough. That's just, that's yeah, I mean, had too much, too much down the field, really. Yeah, I, I don't see how all this gets back in time, really, but it's, he's... I suppose trying his best, tying some stuff up and yeah, attacking the front step. corner. I don't like that side step gives Elder the two percent. Yeah. Four percent, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yes, backwards on to Eldrill would have been, or into the corner of Eldrill would have felt like Eldrill wouldn't have bothered getting up. Oh, we're throwing Eldrill under the bus just to stop a movement. I don't hate that. That's you know, it is all hands to deck, deck isn't it? Mm. I'm not sure we got quite enough movement down this flank, but again, we're so short of rerolls to cover those GFIs, and we can't afford to fail. Yeah, no, rough. I think they're just the difference in the teams told in there, but also the dice. The dice, like there was just multiple ones, wasn't there? Like if yeah. It was so easy for Rodon to have uh, rolled some twos and have got the ball and scored. Yep, and for some of those scatters to have gone better. And there was quite a lot of powering of the blodged pieces. Mm. Even on two die, remember that's 30%. That it shouldn't happen all the time. It certainly shouldn't then happen on break armor and then happen again on a one die. And... <laughs> but this is a very efficient Kislev team at this TV. Everything is punching its way. Really nice. So yeah, it's pretty pretty sad to use the wizard not skull. Yes. But I liked it, like it, and it was really high odds in the end, wasn't it? It was. It was. They had a really good chance to do it. You know, well, it was one in six, so over eighty percent of the time that was a score. And then all you got to do is not necessarily defend that hard and let them get 1-1 at the half and then, you know, drive in the second half, find some space around them eventually. It's, it's not that tricky. 
Now, of course, it's not the end of the world. They've still got their half to come, their drive to do. But they're probably thinking about, you know, I mean, is there any point in doing it quick and trying to get hold of this Kislev team? I suppose you're trying to drive slow, time it, and go for the overtime ball. It's a bit depressing against something disaggressive. Yeah, I think you just bang it in because Kislev are a bit worse on offense than they are on defense, and I think, like, you know, like... That is, that is true. Against the Kislev is rough, especially when your team's crap. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can bang it in and then use Eldril to crack them open, that might be a bit. Yeah, I think with Eldril arrived, you might be right, and then keeping him alive to the set, you know, and over time seems less likely. So you're probably right. The worry is he doesn't have to, doesn't have to carry on a strength two like a lot of his left teams, does he? He has a strength four indeed to do some carrying, so that's quite useful. Mm -hmm. Where he gets it in. There is Ooh. the one turn chance for it. For there is. Thought. Only one out of four comes back. Flip me. Some days just isn't your day, Jim. Whilst you should never accept that, rage, rage against the dying of the Nuffle. Um, mm. Sometimes little can be done. However, there's going to be some more rolls in a sec. And there's no, there's no size up on catches, is there? Unfortunately, there's just no. you either try to score with Eldor or you try to score with your guard. Of, neither of which is, is good to lose, is it? <laughs> suboptimal, Jim. Suboptimal, I think, is the the phrase we're looking for there. Mm. I guess what you can do is you can gaze the back line with Eldril and then run through with the other one. Right, that would probably be the best then if you, if you can get like Eldril to to gaze this diamond tackle. Uh, a good point from the lovely team and Taylor, who both is more observant than us, or possibly cares in a way we just don't. Uh, the High Elves, in respect to the KOs, do have 11 on the field, yeah. so it's not the end of the world. Mm. But yeah, I, I quite like this. I quite like this idea of um, of Eldril gazing the Blitzer. Of course, that's actually a lot more use in 2020, where um, when you gaze someone, they lose all of their skills. And it's on a 2 plus as well. And he can re roll it once per game, can't he, Elbro? Mm. He's a monster. Pretty good. Well, look, the shape is there. Mm. Multiple shapes. Yeah, well, I mean, this, yeah, this is now so ridiculously easy to do that. <laughs> oh, it's okay. He can, he can accept that. <laughs> oh, not if he cast him. <laughs> Yeah, casting him would have been a little more challenging. I would have powered there. Oh, I'd be, be, be in the way anyway, so that takes out the old gaze, unfortunately. Oh, no, you can hit him back. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Yep. Beautiful. Beautiful calls. Yep. Lovely. Throw a lobs it. Glorious. Yeah, you've got, you've got a double GFI with Elbow here, haven't you? I'm pretty sure. Absolutely. As much as it sucks. It's, it's, it's just so much diving tackle that you, you have to. You don't want to... Oh, oh, this is kind of beautiful. Gross. Oh, Jim, I hate a one-turn touchdown. <laughs> and all cheerleaders as well. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Yeah, that was a nice I do. One turn, I do utterly despise one-turn touchdowns. I think it robs the other person of agency and fun in what should be a two-person game. I don't blame the individual. I blame the whole set, obviously. But that was absolutely delightful. Wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. It was so beautifully done. It was so well done. Uh, it's so solved an unsolvable problem. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Yeah. Good day, cocky. Yeah, he could have done. He could have done. But it still worked out well, didn't it? Like it, that was still good. Flippin' nitpicker. Trust the German. <laughs> yes, you're right. That final hit back. There are ways he could maybe have turned that into pushing Eldril to reduce one of the GFIs. Well, with, um, with having the other guy there, right, he could have he could have pushed the f initial push could have been Eldril, and then he could have mm -hmm. used the other guy's push to get the other guy and stuff. But um, but it's okay. Let's not. Let's not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not be mean. 
Mm, and that's why Techian Speed put, didn't put the back line back one, yeah, which would have stopped the gears because he thought he could chain him. But I don't know, he's still make him chain him, right? It still would have been better one one back. Mm. Mm. So yeah, still should have put it one square back. Was Even though he could have pushed him forward. At least make him push him forward. Like making him push him forward as well as the three squares is still good, isn't it? Also, could have just put like two side steppers and stand firm on the line. It was an option, wasn't it? Yep. Oh, but then. No, it's not. Yeah, that, then the gaze would come in like football. <laughs> Blood Bowl 3 Hypno Gaze would then lose the stand firm and the, and the sidestep. But not in this. <laughs> so not in this. In this, the sidestep is in the stand firm is probably the play. Yeah, I didn't I didn't hate it, but yes, I would have put everything I had on the line against them, even with diving tackle on the back line. Mm. Um and I think tech at some point you just gotta take your hat off and say that was you know, that was really well done. Yeah, it was. It was. I I think I wouldn't have defended it very well. Yeah, me too. I don't think it is. No, not not in not in Blood Bowl. Not in this rule set yet. Some first notch rustling. Will Moranian be foul? Maybe. It's a pretty free massive gang foul. It is, and it, it, again, I think we're in a situation where, as the uh, the poor kids live here, I would feel I do need to turn the game around. However, I've got the team capable of doing it, so it might be a little early for that risk. Though he is such a good piece to get down, as you said, they're only tackling. Ah. It's interesting. I mean, obviously, he's used this to do something better than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the the bad thing is if you go for the foul you're just taking a turn off aren't you and then letting him uh, yeah letting him stabilize and everything was you know as kids left this was keeping the heat on which is good but I would definitely have thought about stomping him in the nuts I mean, it, it is good it is what you have to do but it is also only three two pluses away from you know nothing at all <laughs> However, there's the pressure into the backfield, which is important because it hurries the elves up. The other real option, of course, is you get the elves to score early, and that way it's decided one way or the other. Mm, maybe the elves should have dackered. Can you dacker against leaping strength for nightmares, Jim? Well, you can, you can yeah. Okay, you've got I'll Eldor, take your word for it. Eldor to, you've got Eldor to gaze them and get through, haven't you? Yes. You can dacker against anyone. <laughs> if you're brave enough. <laughs> Which is ironic, considering it's definitely not where the origin of the uh, the concept comes from. <laughs> I can promise you the man who has popularised it through name did not think, how do I do something brave here? <laughs> So I've dug it as chaos against humans before. <laughs> Not by choice, <laughs> because I had about six chaos left. <laughs> uh, so have I, Jim. I mean, that's the situation in which you just sometimes don't have an option. <laughs> but I would have probably just like I wouldn't have known what to do before. Is now I know I can dug it. So it's it's a brilliant it's a brilliant uh, you know. No, I mean it makes perfect that. sense. You you drop everything back, pull it together into one fist, and then ram it up one side or the other and see what happens. <laughs> God. What? How is that not perfectly descriptive of what you do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fan Fox, I've never said I haven't, that there aren't times when a withdrawn offense isn't the right thing to do. In that situation, you're down to seven chaos, you're facing 10, 11 humans. Absolutely. Pull it back, put them into a pack, see which flank is weaker, and try and commit up there whilst leaving some of the other flank not able to make it over and equalise the size of the fight. And then punch through and head up that wing. 
You don't have to use the slightly fruitier language deliberately and ironically, <laughs> but you you can because it's fun. <laughs> yep, just like the Dakar itself. Oh, that does get the the guy one further forward. But I mean, he'd have to leap twice, wouldn't he? So yeah, that's why this guy's back there. So that if he'd leapt over the front line, he'd have to like dodge in as well. So I quite like that. At first, I was like, why the hell yeah. has he got two people back there? But it's <laughs> it's so that if the leap comes over, he's yeah, it's it's the double line, isn't it? One leap doesn't cover you against against Kislev or Slan. Mm. Funny enough, after playing this game for seven years, I do kind of think of them more as, as kids level than Slam now. Well, even I mean, I, I, I don't care, Jim. You know me, I'm quite happy calling them Sorai. Um, so I've got some Cossacks, which I got deliberately knowing I could use them as Slam or Norse or humans. Um, so I'm quite comfortable with them as, as kids level or Slam. And as they don't actually exist, does it matter at all? No. In that they don't officially exist, is what I mean. Yep. So this is almost a Dakar anyway, isn't it? It's almost yeah, a yeah. Now. It's just holding a holding a high line and uh, with a double people, two people back instead of one. Mm. But as you said, against the Kislev, that's incredibly smart because one can be smashed to pieces very easily with a single piece that's left over, particularly when he's got strength four pieces. <laughs> Not sure, Taki and roll the push. Outrageous. <laughs> Yeah, it's, the dice log's funny um, afterwards. <laughs> I've seen the dice log posted by somebody, so you can <laughs> you can have a little chuckle at that. This is rough, isn't it, with the tackle and the diving tackle? Just yeah, very, very, now. very rough. So yeah, uphills, nice. Might get surfed, but... Oh no, wrestles are even better. Oh, we have taken a push, maybe surfed him. Ah, but I guess, I guess if you take the uh, both down, then you still got jump up, haven't you? And this is the problem. Um, it's a lovely screen. It, the front corner of this cage, the one near the opposition, isn't defended enough. Yeah. But you've still got to defend the back corner because they're bloody Kislev. Yeah. So no matter where they are, they can come from any angle. Yeah. yeah you just instantly pin if you want to, isn't it? Like it. Yeah. I mean, against virtually any other race, you could have dropped the... Uh, to drop more um, uh, Eldril in next to the ball and been, you know, damn sight safer in there. Dublin scores. Lovely to see a Kislev oh. course not going for every three pussy can, though. That's, that's nice to see, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, although I'm not sure this time I wouldn't have gone for it, but right. it, it's kind of fine. There's, they've got the relentlessness of inevitability, haven't they? Yes. It, it, my only concern is that catcher up the right hand flank. Indeed, yeah, I would have, I would have definitely put this guy in front of him, like yeah. hundred million percent. Yeah. Kind of, never mind a million, like just like dead lad, a hundred million, put this in front. <laughs> yeah. And then that catcher could have done something about you know slightly securing this blitz so that's moving early. Yeah. Because sure enough, he's one dying it off and heading there, which is exactly what I would do. Yeah. Hand off At least I Elbow. hope I would. Yeah. Lovely. And then Eldrill can base this guy as well. Eldrill's got a lovely oh, little catch. Don't like that. Do not like that. I would have definitely based this fella. Yes, he's AG5, isn't he? So it doesn't alter the throw at all. Well, he's actually 4, but he's Nerves of Steel, right? Oh, Nerves of Steel, yeah. So it doesn't alter the throw at all. Mm. Mm, no, I think you're right, Jim. Yeah, I mean, he's tagging out with him anyway. I mean, the disadvantage is he, he'll die because you blow out him hard, he dies at the most inopportune moments. But And the advantage of staying off is that you may still want him in the second half because do you really think you're holding up these kids left from a three-turner? I mean, maybe. Maybe. But I mean, obviously it is better to, to put him there and then make the dodge out to tag him with a crap guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I would have just been like kind of safer and Sure he was tagged. But it's a strength four tagging the one in front, so that can get easily moved, leaving a very good route out. However, it is sidestep, so it's mm. only 55% that it goes down. 
And then that tackle guard is still out of range of the ball. So it's all fine. This is in the tin to get. So nicely done by Azathot. He saw absolutely the you know the space that we saw. Exploited it in the elf way with the little cheeky one die push off. Um, I bet even if he'd failed it, he would have still gone for exactly the same plan because, of course, being a catcher, it would still have caught on a a one in nine fail even under that uh, tackle zone. Dodging off the cost that the um, blitzer would have been obviously fun and most likely given us heart attacks but <laughs> still more likely to work than not yeah, yeah still gonna do it and under that much pressure i think it was the right play however we score now he's put instead of any pressure towards the ball he's put in a lovely basket of stall i dare use yeah I don't think and any. you can't stall against them no i would just not block here just because to yeah. conserve re conserve rerolls for all the time <sighs> I don't hate it because it was a guard piece. I hate this one. Well, I mean, what, I, I, I wouldn't have made it either. I would have just got it in because, there's, as you said, it's a good chance he scores in three, and then you go all the time, and then I want rerolls for all the time. And yeah, you can move him. Like, if, even if you had like a tackle mighty or whatever, but he's got no mighty. Right, I'll just Easy. It looks like how easy to say now that it's I was proved right, but I just think it's just not that likely that you get the removal right. It, it's 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 not worth the risk of having to use the removal. You're probably right, Jim. But just in the realistic world, I know me. I'm a greedy little sod. I would have probably taken at least one of those. I hope it's just the one because of the fact it was tackle and it was on a really key, you know, dodge guard piece. Whereas the second one was a bit less key. But I am a bit greedy. I've rolled a lot of 136s. <laughs> I, I am scarred by my 136s. So but it would have to be a 1 in 1,000, wouldn't it? Because you did have a re-roll to cover the skulls. And yeah, it was a no no GFI score. So. But I just don't want to score. I just don't want to waste the re-roll. That, that, yeah. That's no, you're right. Saying. You're right about... You know, as I, said, I started by saying, I think you are right. You mm. keep the re-roll. I wouldn't be concerned move. about the 1 in 296. Like, if it was the last turn of the yeah. half... Of the first half, it was the last time. Yeah, the you, first half. You'd I definitely mean, take yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. But no, you're right, reroll conservation, because we've we're now at one reroll versus three, which is a very bad situation. Mm. And we've got to hold them up for three turns, which is gonna be tricky. Mm. But not impossible. No, and there's Elder there to do things. Yeah. Oh, no, no to uh, toss rock. Death <laughs> Dead, dead, More. dead. Morons out there, isn't he? So um, that's our strength four tackler off the pitch. Yeah, yeah. Which is pretty rough. Yeah. That is really rough. That is. That's rough as rough. All of the tacklers are knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> Removed the tackle from our force of tacklers. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Elbow can do things. And obviously, if you win the toss, so like you don't use any rerolls on defense. Mm, maybe you do. It depends how good it is. That's that's another thing. Like you, you've lost freedom a bit now by going down to one reroll, haven't you? Because yes, you could have maybe kept one reroll for overtime, and then maybe use absolutely one on the defense. Was now you've really got to think about how impactful this reroll will be as to whether you use it. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> did, did PC say that, Samage? <laughs> it, it, unfortunately, not only does it sound like me, it's even got the characteristic spelling mistake on the have, isn't it? It's, <laughs> it's kind of impossible to say that, that doesn't sound like me. I was going to go, yeah, it, it absolutely does. That's that's how you speak, that is. Um, yeah, yeah, I said that. I think I stand by it. <laughs> Wow. Volk's a lovely fella, and so is Stor. <laughs> he is. Stor is lovely, but yes, if the, if we were living, you know, back in those times, he would have dueling scars. You know he would. <laughs> I think he mightn't act the way he does <laughs> if we lived in those times. 
<laughs> Unless the duels were like how giraffes duel, in which case he'd be the <laughs> ultimate fighting champion. <laughs> <laughs> This is this isn't looking like too much of a too much of a store, is it? I mean, I guess that no, guy we... is jump up. He should have moved him already, though. Right, like this jump up, this jump up litter should have already moved in case this was a quad skull. <laughs> yes, I I question what uh, whether the team has given us rise to some slightly um, again not at, not seeing the field as it is, but seeing the gorgeous team and thinking it will solve the problem for me. Yeah, I'd hit blocking his path. Yeah, I would have just done like this. Could have been a GF. Yeah. Instead, sort of, that could have been a, that could have been a dodge instead of a GF. So you'd have yeah. to re -roll. Yeah. Wow, puts in the re-roll and fails. So he thought that was necessary, and uh, maybe it is. One, two, I, three, I, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it looks like it is. <laughs> yeah, I I think it is, yep. and I think it's this is problematic. However, it is on a blodge step piece, so that keeps a level of safety on it. Remember, we talked about the lack of tacklers. So it's a 30% to get it down. I wonder yeah. if the play was to come with this. This guy, oh no, he stood up. Ah, okay. Yeah, I, I wonder if this guy, because then he's got wrestle, right? I wonder if that was even worth the reroll. There's so many recovery options. Um, so I think this is probably going to be all right, and I think we should maybe, as the high elves have accepted, this was going to be all right once they reached that position and yeah. gone for the first thirty percent and not done the reroll. Yeah, not no reroll. Yeah. Um, yeah, a bit sad. It is a bit sad. Yeah, I didn't like that. I didn't like that last reroll. I didn't like the penultimate reroll. Didn't like the final reroll. You could have had two rerolls here and been in the same spot. <laughs> if we'd have had two rerolls there, I would certainly have put one into it. But, but my very last one on a 30% to stop, when they've got you know a reasonable chance of scooping it up and scoring anyway, I, I hope I'd have been disciplined enough not to. Yeah. But again, I am a greedy bugger. There's a good chance I'd have done it. What happened? He 2D'd the ball, because it wasn't very well protected, and then uh, he used a re-roll on it and failed. It but yeah, I wouldn't use the last re-roll. Maybe you can use one of two. It's still really easy to just score, isn't it? So. Yeah, there's there's just not a lot of options to get to the ball afterwards. Whereas having that extra reroll for maybe even if you're on defense now, you've got a chance to have Moranian, haven't you? Which makes your defense yeah. way better. Yeah, and you know all sorts of kickoff events that may mean that suddenly you've got agency even on the kicking team. And if you're the receiving team, having one reroll gives you such an advantage in getting a two turn. Does Manian come back? Yes, he does. He does? Well, that's going to help. The block after the sack wasn't watching Chagan, to be honest. <laughs> no idea what happened with the block after the sack. Oh, I didn't look at the logos. Ah, the high elves lose the toss. But they've got Moranian. And Eldril, so they've got the, the strength four hitter with tackle to take the ball off anyone, mm. and Eldril to make the hull. Yep, all of their tacklers come back from Kale. <laughs> if you, you are going to go and interfere with someone's balls, you do need to make a hole to get there. Yeah. <laughs> I hate this, by the way. I hate not protecting Eldril and Moranian like they're your two stars. Yeah, like, I... Who cares that they're not rostered? They yeah, I, I... Absolutely. I know people go, oh, but Chalice Equity, he needs his catchers alive. If you're not in the next round, who cares if you've got lovely catchers? Yeah. And once you've got there, sure, protect them, but just get there. And getting there is probably down to Moranian and Eldra. Yeah. And of the two, definitely Eldra with his weak-ass armour. <laughs> yes. I yeah. mean, if I'm the, if I'm the Kislev here, I'm 100% I'm attacking. Eldril. Possibly before I do anything else. Possibly as my blitz action. I'm. I, well, I'll be honest. I'm not doing. Wow. I wouldn't 100% attack Eldril. I'd million percent attack Eldril. <laughs> but oh, blitz is huge. And now suddenly they're in a lovely position to take advantage of it. 
because mm. Nuffle just loves it when you do something slightly wrong, going, yes, but it's going to work out fine. <laughs> the thing about the whole match equity versus chalice equity thing is so much of your chalice equity is wrapped up in the game that you're playing, right? Like, that's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it, even if it's against goblins with a 700 TV advantage with a pretty nice necro team, you know? Like, <laughs> like so much of your... So much of your Charles equity is in the game that you're having right now that I think you know a lot of people overestimate um, how important Charles equity is. And because everybody loves what we did with Watergate, where any scandal of any kind is now a gate, <laughs> missing the fact that it wasn't adding gate to the word water because it was a scandal. The Watergate is the name of the hotel. Mm. So when you go, oh, that's Jersey Gate, <laughs> no, that doesn't work. <laughs> Just you, you've created your own mad thing. Anyway, that aside, because we have Kequity, we can, of course, talk about the Gequity versus the Chequity. <laughs> Gequity, of course, as Daly points out, being the game equity. Uh, his belief, and mine, as I voiced earlier, is that that outweighs Chequity uh, in terms of your Chalice equity. Mm. Oh my God. Is this purple get? <laughs> And even if it was, that would be meaningless. Because gate does not denote scandal. The water gate was the name of the hotel. Why isn't it water purple? I mean, for it to make sense, it would be the Watergate gate. That's what they would now call it in the papers. They would now say Watergate gate. Yeah, they would. <laughs> oh, well, that's pretty, pretty good. Pretty good turn there from Tachyon Speed. Just the correct thing. Oh wow, Spunk's a reroll on this. Interesting. Interesting. No, I disagree no, because correctly. sadly, Team and Taylor, the effects of Kequity, which you've spelt wrong, <laughs> upon Gequity, uh, I don't think are great enough to say that it is greater than Gequity. Mm. Oh, he was going to double GFI, gears him, and then yeah, just get and then, some 2D. Uh, and then get the 2D in. Yeah. Maybe that was correct as well, right? Like, well, when you've got a piece that. in place to, to get it effective is so so much use because then you had other pieces that could come in and do good stuff afterwards. And I do love an early attempt if it looks on, and it did look on. Yeah, yeah, and if it doesn't, you've got a chance to reposition into a secondary phase, which is more defensive. Unfortunately, now your whole team gets banged out. <laughs> Well, I mean, yes and no. All that's happened is that secondary phase is coming because he's not taking advantage of the speed and heading forwards. He's just stabilising in the centre. At least you've got a chance to stabilise against Ooh, him. Ooh, he's out of rerolls now. He's down to one reroll himself, and he's down to no rerolls himself. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you're going to see a lot of defensive hedgy oh play God. here. Wrestle's huge there, isn't it? That's why you don't want Wrestle on uh, things, even though obviously we hit a Wrestler, but... That's why block is like just better on the blitzes, right? To keep them up and keep the diamond tackle up. I don't like this, Jim. This is too much withdrawing for me. Mm. I know the fear is that Eldril's uh, stare, and it should be. Uh, and we should absolutely see it. Yeah, Eldril. And it's, yeah, it's still just a 2D, isn't it? Just an easy Yeah, Eldril, Eldril Moran. Piece of cake. Mm. You don't even need to... You don't even... Maybe you need to stare. Wait, what? That's your entry square. Oh, he misclicked. Oh, he misclicked. Dear. He misclicked with Eldril. But even then, I think he was meaning to go here, but it's just better to go here anyway. Yeah, but you can come round the back, can't you? Have you got this pace? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's now two GFI, but you can come round the back with Moron and do it because yeah. he's he's move seven. Yeah, but it was it was better just do it from here, wasn't it? Like, it was oh, hundred percent. And then you just walk in. Then yeah. there's no GFI. Yeah, here. Here is where he should have done it from. Yeah. So, mm, diced. On either of the ones on the corner. It's fine. Stand anywhere, except Well, there. this this one's bad, though, because it's, it's harder, right? So, yeah. yeah if but if it stood in that around, square... Oh. Well, I'm afraid that's deserved. Yeah, yeah. Well, For the missed position, that is deserved. Yeah, he should have come in from here. And now that it's stunned, he's completely screwed. That's yeah. his inter only tackle. Yeah. Yes, you should have taken the front corner one, but even taking the rear corner one, if you do it from one step above or below where you are, you leave a, a no GFI here on the ball. Ah, oh, yeah, so, right, yeah, Of yeah, all yeah. possible squares, it's the worst square. 
Yeah, okay, so if he if he does it from down one, yep. then... Yeah, or, or up one. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. literally, up, of up any square... One. Up one's minus one, though, right? So it's there. No, because you, you'd stood up ahead of it to cancel it. No, no, it's minus one for the gaze, if you if you gaze from here. Yes. So you can't yes. gaze from here. So, so you have to gaze from here or here. And not here or here. So, yeah, yeah, he'd had two choices, gaze on either, yeah. either corner, yeah. Either one was better. But, I mean, it's better to get rid of the... It's just, it is better to gaze this guy than this guy, right? This guy is yeah. a shithead liner with no skills, and this is a diving tackle, dodge, yeah. guard. Like, you know, he's a better yeah. one to... to it's, it's, the, it's, the right, it's the right it's the right target, but it's also the wrong one to be on if it fails, to mm. slightly balance that. But either way, it just it was the wrong square to do it for. Yeah, yeah, he shot him one down. Yeah, and it probably is better to do one down. I'd, I, I, would have, I would have gazed the other one, but yeah, actually thinking about it, it probably is better to gaze. The dying tackle, Roger. Because as it doesn't have tackle, it's not quite as dangerous. But yes, it's it's fine. Oh, that is a sad. That is a sad misclick. It certainly is. And of course, on tabletop, you just go, "Oh, I didn't mean to put him there," and everyone would pretend it's fine. Yes. <laughs> yep. When you notice three seconds after you'd finished moving it, it was a bad place, and you'd go, oh, "I didn't mean to leave it there." Oh, I'd say unfortunately you've rolled the dice for a hypnotic gaze, so it's no take backs. You <laughs> cheating prick. <laughs> it's what I would say. <laughs> well, the minute they've rolled a dice, absolutely there's no take backs. Mm. But it's as they pick the dice up and realise they should be in the better square. They go, oh, I meant to be here, do you mind? Yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah, you moved it, you moved it, you take your fingers off. And they go, yeah, but in the rules it says, as I haven't rolled dice, I can change it. Mm. Is that in the rules now? Yep. Oh, disgusting. So we get in, same route, we, we stared the corner, marked the other corner, in we go, but we didn't have tackle. And hence, it doesn't go. However, we, have we bought the time to get Moron properly back in this game? No, because Moron's gone. I doubt it. He's, just, he's so far behind and he's got a diving tackle and he's got no dodge. Yeah, and yeah. And he's going to leave diving tackle on him forever more. I think it's serious enough that we have to blitz him out and just get elves in front and hope that stays long enough the moron gets back involved. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Like, at least it's taking time and he hasn't got yeah, a... Yeah, particularly as the kids left haven't moved forwards. Mm. I think I can prioritise freeing up moron this turn. Yeah, for sure. Hundred percent. And he's giving you a nice hit in front of the cage anyway, which means you can put a couple of more elves up in front of that cage. And then just three more on. Yep. Oh no. Oh no. And, and I don't. Okay, this achieves. You know, that's just a step up, stand up piece. You free to wrestle catcher. Okay, I mean, I guess that's almost like freeing the tackler. Yeah, and it gets this guy back as well, right? This this guy gets free, so that is pretty decent, to be fair. To be fair, yeah, pretty decent two players free, but... Yeah, I wanted Morani and blitzing him and then like tagging this catcher. Yeah, me too. It's not a bad plan, Jim, but I, I slightly preferred mine. Yeah. But, I mean, it had the same impetus, which is get something that could do something about this ball carrier. Yes. The elves are being left in the dust with uh, Eldril and Morani and the two big shots of them both miles away from the ball. On the yeah, both side. behind the ball. Yeah, absolutely. Wrong sided. We've not quite reversed the field, but we're not a million miles away. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was a bit of a trap blitz kickoff, but you, you still have to go for it because it's such a key way elves can gain an advantage. Yeah, it was the best chance he had. That's the best chance he had. Oh, the double spells. Well, that's unlucky. You can argue, you can argue, being pedantic that like gazing it was better because it can't turn over. Um, 
and he's not really going anywhere, is he, Elsrill? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's it's all unlucky, Jim, but, you know, it, in the service of achieving what? I mean, the true answer to how do we solve this problem is not to be here in the first place. Yeah, yeah, even if he'd, even if he'd freed old uh, Marani in here, like, yeah. Yeah, so, it's, yeah. it's not going to solve the problems. Right. It's it's not an answer. The answer was, I, I think Ollie's right to some degree. I didn't hate going for the Blitz, but I think when it failed, they needed to be much more focused on recovering pieces back in front of the drive. The goodness knows the kids left messed around in midfield for three or four turns where they didn't need to. Yeah, no, I, I, I thought it, I thought it was fair going for it, but um, it's like the kids left have no rerolls either, right? So they they yeah. were on a knife edge. I, yeah, I absolutely. Good to go. I just think the, the mistake was rolling too many ones. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're not wrong. The dice have been poor for the high elves again, mm. and better for the kids left. And having a rubbish team as well wasn't advisable, was it? <laughs> but I would be thinking as the high elves, I got myself out positioned by beyond the ball here, and I should have put more focus in getting back in front of it. I don't know if you if you get if you're in front of it, then you've got no pressure on the ball, though, right? Like that's the thing. He, he was he was really fighting tooth and nail to try and get the sack, wasn't he? And if he yeah, just, if yeah. He just stood in front, then. And had it worked, you would have been applauding the you know the aggression. So maybe you're right. Maybe I'm just looking for something to say when actually it was just time. Yeah, like if, if he'd put Eldril in the right square, he probably pops the ball loose, doesn't he? And then who knows? Yes. But mm. um, there you go anyway. That was um, a match. 17 AV breaks to 6. Yeah, you can look at the dice rolls here. Um, the block dice were 6 pals <laughs> to wow. 18 skulls. <laughs> so, like, everything else was normal except, like, less than half as many pals as you'd expect. And then these got. 32 bow like you know like crazy oh, right that's 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 a that's an interesting number uh, what was the weather jim um the weather was just nice for the whole game oh okay Good. yet the uh, not but not for Ordont it wasn't it was <laughs> he was playing in a blizzard <laughs> with 18 successes and seven failures so yeah you know i think he did get you know he had to be lucky right the 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 golfing teams he had yes. to be the lucky one, and he was the unlucky one, so it's yes. surprising. And he did well yes. to take it all the time in that reason. Yes. All, I think all of that's true and fair. Yeah. But, you know, not to take anything away from Tachyon Speed, of course, he played fine mostly, right? He just, just didn't didn't do anything horrendous, right? Just it was. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah, that no, was all fine. It was a it was all, uh, effort using Odal and, and Marania. Yeah. yeah, all very fine and used the team well. Knew the strengths of the team, relied on it, trusted in it. Yeah. Very little panic. Which was good, particularly in overtime. Happy to take the time, knowing it was stability and conservativeness that was getting it done at that moment. So yeah, really nice. Now that's been fun, Jim. Uh, but I am going to dis disappear. I have a pond to drain. Oh, and fish it is time off. for its time for its spring clean. <laughs> They're very active at the moment, actually, which is why we need to do it. They're, this is the side of time of year where they start to need feeding every day, and they get very active. Mm. One of them's huge now. Wow. Um, pitch the black one is huge now and the other three are now a decent sort of adult size so once we do get it all clean we could look to stock one or two more in well fantastic right on that bombshell thank you very much mm. PC. and uh, pleasure <laughs> thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic <laughs>